This is Invisible and Invincible, where we have materials that can protect and can function while barely being seen. Here, for example, on the left, we have spider silk web that's illuminated with LEDs to help us to see it. And on the right, we have a bucket of toys that's being held aloft by a spider silk rope. This spider silk rope is holding currently about a kilogram, but we actually think it, it could carry up to six or 10 times as much as that. Also part of Invincible and Visible is the phenomenon known as quantum locking. And what I've done is I've cooled a superconductor with liquid nitrogen and applied it to a magnetic field. So this superconductor is a ceramic wafer. It's sapphire ceramic. And usually when you cool a superconductor, it's repelled by a magnetic field. But because this is so thin, tiny imperfections allow the magnetic field to flow through it in what are called flux tubes. So it gets locked in place in three dimensions within the magnetic field. So that's why you can rotate it and you can spin it around the track. This is a silicon nitride ball. It's technically a ceramic, but it's actually harder than concrete, and it has some interesting optical properties. If you look, for example, at the reflection, it reflects with very little diffraction. Mm -hmm.